Hey guys, once again, I'm having fuel issues. Holy crap, am I ever. Um, we figured out, I posted on the forum again, and apparently it's this guy. This is a uh, check valve or something. You can see it's got an arrow pointing down. That's the return. This is the suction side, so. And if you look in there, there's some crap in there. So something's getting jammed in there. Um, I looked down in the tank and dug out this guy. I don't even know what this is. It's like gelled diesel or something. But uh, it's really, really squishy. It's, it feels like silicone, but I don't know. It's freaking weird. But anyways, um, yeah, I come up with a new plan. Um, the original draw straw that I built just tapped off of this and had this little guy running down to the bottom of there. And it, it worked decent, but um, it had this stupid valve in there. So I thought, hey, why not try to get some friggin' half inch copper line? Kenny was throwing it all out, so I grabbed a piece of it. I measured, um, this port here was the other draw straw that I tried, but it was outside the bowl, and when fuel would slosh, it would friggin' starve the pump. So, um, anyways, I measured from the top of here down to the bottom where this thing goes. If you compress it, you'll see that it pokes out. So I measured, and it's 13 inches from the top of this down to there, so I cut this guy to 13 inches, and I tapered the bottom of it so that, uh, even if it's all the way down to the bottom of the tank, you're still gonna get fuel. So I found this rubber thing. It had uh, two of these, one of these things on either side. I just took it over to the bench grinder and ground down this thing to taper it. And then um, in here was, uh, I'll show you guys. This guy, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe it's a pressure relief thing, but obviously I went the wrong way and freaking just ruined it, so. Figured there's no going back after that point, so um, I found that rubber guy, I ground it down, and it is a very, very, very tight fit. But when this thing was out, the copper tube was kind of loose inside it, but because it's such a tight fit, I really have to work to get the copper tube in, which is awesome. It's a really tight seal. So I, um, trying to get this thing in, I could not get it in by hand, so what I did is I took a 1 8 inch socket stuck it over the bottom there, ran a bolt through it, out the top here with a bunch of washers and a nut. And I just tightened the nut down to push the washers down and seat this guy. So I'm gonna have a hell of a time trying to get that out. I'd be better off um, probably trying to cut that out if I ever needed it gone. But uh, this guy, it's a very tight fit. You'll see I'm compressing this. I can't even get this thing in. I'm gonna have to use two hands. But uh, now I gotta find a line that'll go from that size to my uh, 5 16 filter there. So that's my next challenge, but uh, I shined this all up real nice. It was all dirty like that. I didn't want to go near this because this is a uh, tight seal and I don't want to uh, nick the solder and open it up. So anyways, this is what I'm up to tonight because um, whenever that thing would clog, it would create, it would like suction it up even further into that stupid valve. And my fuel pressure would instantly just drop right down and the truck would die. So I've had that happen twice. Um, my remedy for that was to pull the five inch line off of this guy, pull the return thing off it and then hook a compressor up and blow that guy out. And then it would shoot out this side as well. And then it'd be good for a while. So, yeah, it really sucked. I was trying to go to the bank at lunch and I friggin' came across this problem. Um, luckily, it was only about two blocks away from the shop, so I ran back to the shop and grabbed a little air tank and friggin' blew the line out and then I made it all the way to the bank and back, which was a good 15, 20 minute drive either way. But anyways, I gotta get this done because I gotta go home soon. So I'll let you guys know what I come up with. But this will be absolutely non-restrictive flow. Friggin' rights. Well guys, I got her done. I uh, soldered a fitting onto the end of the half inch uh, copper pipe. I had an air hose hooked up to here. No depth perception through the camera. I plugged that in with my finger and um, it's 
not leaking at all. So I used a lot of solder on it too. I was freaking out because I didn't have any fl <coughs> Apologize, I just ate. Um, I didn't have any uh, flux, but luckily I remembered that I had some flux core solder kicking around, so I grabbed that and used that, and now I'm ready to install. Friggin' right. I also had to notch the front of that a little bit. Oh, look, you can tell so that this thing will go down a little bit further, because it goes down. Well, there, that uh, outside plastic tube's hitting the ground, and that guy's about maybe half inch from the lowest point on it. So I also ran the, uh, well I put a plug on the uh, supply, the stock supply line. I cut them both off down there and I ran a piece of hose for the return all the way down to the bottom there. And as you can see, it's flexible. It doesn't have to be friggin' special or nothing. I just want fuel to empty back into this bowl. So anyways, I'm gonna hook it up and I should see a hell of a lot more performance out of that pump. Cause that guy sucks. It sucks. So anyways, uh, I gotta get this done because I gotta go. Well, I got it installed. A couple things. That is way too friggin' sharp of an angle. And then down there, it uh, pinches a little bit too. But uh, watch this. Okay, zero fuel pressure. Look how fast that goes. That's ridiculous. It, uh... 13 pounds right now, so that's not it's not great, but it's a hell of a lot better than what it was before it's Super fast though It's picking up fuel a lot faster than uh, It had with this stupid freaking stupid valve thing So anyways, I got to uh, put the boards back on and then I gotta get home Apologize So thanks for watching guys and until next time Take care.